what happens so frequently at these kind of places is we get accidents in the straightaways. You would think it would be easy to drive these trucks down the straightaway. Not the case. There's Ron Hornaday, two-time winner here. There's Armand Caroga, top 10 in points. He's going to take a big hit. Mason Mingus, who had a good qualifying effort in that 15 truck. There was some side drafting, some bump drafting, and like you said, Phil, it all occurs on the straightaway. Ooh, it looked like Caroga tried to get into a hole that Eric Jones wasn't sure was there. Hard, hard hit from Mason Mingus in that 15 truck. The crazy thing is you're, the, you know, we're talking lap 10, 10, lap 10 and 11. You just have to make sure that you understand where gaps are and that they're going to be there this early in the race. Ryan Sieg swerved to the outside trying to get by. Nowhere to go when Mingus came up in front of him. Yeah, and hard contact with a third. Let's take another look at it here. See the blue truck left side of your screen. You see him get sideways, get in the 15 of Mason Mingus, then go to the outside. Nowhere to go for Ron Hornaday or Ryan Sieg. Well, Mason Mingus, a promising start to the weekend with practice and qualifying. Disappointing finish. What happened on the racetrack? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen the replay yet, but it's frustrating. These guys at Billy Boat Motorsports have done a great job getting this truck ready and, and everybody with Call 811 and, and ECR engines and Chevy. And, you know, it, it seems like this weekend the Chevy trucks have dominated, and we were hoping to do that in the race. Uh, we were just biding our time, playing it safe. We knew we had a safe truck. I was just going to hold that yellow line the whole time and, and wait till we had an opening at the end of the race. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But Yeah, so it looks like somebody may have got into the 77 and turned them into us. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things. That's, that's what we get for pack racing. Um, you know, it happens every time. You just hope you're not the victim of it. Unfortunately, it was early in the race. You know, I felt like we had a, we could have had a good run if we could have made it through through the big one. Um, I don't know if that's going to be it or they're going to be another one, but you know, it's unfortunate when people get that impatient this early in the race. It just tears up a lot of trucks and, and ends a lot of people's day. Iman Caroga, first of all, are you okay? And tell us what happened from your perspective on the racetrack. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, it's a shame to be honest. We were we we're pretty good. Uh, seven seven at Ten Wireless Truck was was strong, and uh, we were just uh, handling there and. Uh, the 51 was overheating and they told me he was going to go high uh, to take some clean air and they, behind me they were running three wide so it makes sense to for him to move up and then move a little bit back and uh, I tried to fill the, the gap and then he came down on me so uh, that spun us and, and it's a shame I mean uh, we worked hard and we had a very very good truck and I mean just really frustrated for me with having so many issues uh, in the past few days and I uh, just can't believe this happened today. That's Iman Caroga. He's out at Talladega.